our water just stopped running. Hey, so what's going on? I think the pipes are frozen. <gasps> are you serious? you guys are staying a lot warmer than we are here we're sending you guys all the warm wishes if this is your first time to our channel i'm kyle i'm renee and we're happily ever hanks driving you to get out here and enjoy rv living hopefully we have not turned you away and scared you too much already all right guys so in today's video let's talk about RV winter camping. We're gonna talk about what you can do to prepare your RV for cold temperatures. And finally, the best part, we are going to discuss what to do if you experience frozen pipes in your RV. Yeah. Okay, so we wanna give a little Wait, bit of a back. Before we dive in, let's do our oh, RV, RV tip, tip of the, of the week. week. Shout out to Barbara and Chris from Midlife Journey for their RV tip. So Chris and Barbara threw out a great tip and they said, give boondocking a try. It's easier than you think and it can save you quite a bit of money. <gasps> Who doesn't love saving money while on the road? Nice one, guys. So take it from the emergency nurses. We know just a couple things about emergencies and we wanna share those with you today. Shelter, fire, water. Remember those when you think you might be exposed to some dangerous climate changes. Yes, if you don't have shelter, it doesn't matter if you don't have heat or water, that is gonna be the most dangerous situation that you will face. Mm -hmm. So make sure you follow shelter, warmth, water. All right, let's talk about our next segment, the things you could do to prepare your RV. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about skirting your RV. So if you don't know what that means, that is basically putting some kind of barrier around the bottom of your RV to yeah. protect underneath from wind and excess low temperatures. Just think of it as the added protection of insulation you have in your home. That's exactly what you're doing is you're just lining the sides of your RV to add that extra insulation underneath so that those ambient temperatures outside are constantly pulling that heat away from your trailer. Bonus tip to you guys, if you ever get caught in a situation where you are facing the freezing temperatures and you have no access to skirting, you can treat it actually like an igloo and you can take the surrounding snow in the environment, make a barrier along the base of your trailer to help constantly keep that heat in. It's better than nothing, but it will actually act as like an insulation barrier. So guys, what we like to do when we know the temperatures are dropping below freezing, yeah. we actually disconnect our water hose and just fill up our fresh tank because if you have your fresh tank filled up, you can have running water for a couple days. Totally, yeah. And then during the daytime when it's not freezing, we'll go out and fill it back up. Another thing that you can consider that if you do not want to fill up your water tanks, you can actually buy a special heat tape to wrap your water hose in to kind of keep that really insulated from the ambient temperatures outdoors. Nice! Our RV is considered four seasons yeah. and it has integrated built-in tank heaters. Which is cool. A problem that we ran into is we coincided the use of the electric heater with the propane heater. And where we went wrong is we created an ambient temperature within the trailer that was warm but we were forgetting the ambient temperature underneath us in the belly of the trailer. We were trying to save money mm. by not running the furnace continuously since we were hooked up to electric. We thought let's utilize as much electric as totally. possible. So as the temps were dropping really, really low, we were already below freezing as soon as we got to the RV park. Yes. I believe we set our furnace to keep the inside temperature at 60 or 65 because yeah. we thought, hey, we'll just bundle up, Done. wear some layers. It doesn't need to be super warm in here. And we stayed warm. And we had the electric fireplace on and we had an extra space heater running. So guess what? Those other sources of heat were tricking the thermostat into not yeah. kicking on as much as it should have. You wanna be ahead of the game on this one. So start running that propane heater early and soon so that you can keep that ambient temperature underneath the trailer 
nice and toasty or at least as warm as you can to prevent any freezing pipes. Like we said, this is where we went wrong. Yes. So we just want this to not happen to you guys. Another bonus tip we want to bring to you guys that while we're on the topic, if you do want to run that electric fireplace while running the furnace underneath, coincide it by setting the fireplace about five degrees less than what you have the furnace set at. That way the electric fireplace never catches up with the furnace and it helps prevent the furnace from shutting off. If the furnace is always able to stay just one step ahead of that electric fireplace, you can be guaranteed that it's going to continue heating that underbelly and prevent any situation like what Renee and I went through. Also some other tips on how to keep the actual inside living area of your RV warm. If you have yeah. slide outs, find out if there's little air drafts coming out from under your slides. For sure. We don't have anything fancy so we just shoved a bunch of extra sheets and blankets and towels <laughs> underneath our slides. Yeah. Hey, it worked though. And you'll know because if you're sitting in the part of the slide that yeah. is exposed to the outside, you'll just be like, woof. Yeah, you get woof. that little draft coming in and hey, if you're able to find those areas and cover them up, more kudos to you. Yes. It actually helps for us if we keep our blinds shut. Totally. These are not fancy blinds in no. any way, mm -mm. but if we keep them closed, it just helps with that little bit of draft coming through the window. So another great consideration, if you're going to start facing freezing temperatures before it gets too cold, invest in a dehumidifier. And the reason we say that is with the ambient temperature being outside, very freezing and the warm temperatures inside, you are bound to create a lot of humidity. It's going to be built up on the window. Windows. It's going to cause moisture buildup through all your cabinets and all your living quarters. So invest in that dehumidifier, stay on top of that so you don't experience any issues like mold or any kind of buildup such. From condensation. All right, segueing into our final topic of the video that we want to really bring to you guys. And I think this is the grand finale that we're all waiting for. I know Renee and I weren't too prepared for this, but we want to talk about what happens if your pipes freeze. So if you ever run into the situation where your water does stop and you're not sure what's causing it, there's three things that you can really consider. Just keep it really simple. It could be your water tanks, it could be your water piping, or it could just be your water pump. Even though we have a fresh tank water heater, because we weren't skirted and it was freezing, we thought, well, it was so cold that the water in the tank probably still froze. Totally. So something very simple that I did, and this isn't 100% guaranteed to solve your diagnostic problem, but no. I just went under and pulled the overflow valve. And guess what? I expected it to be frozen solid and I'd have to like really yank on the valve. Yeah. I pulled that and it easily just water flowed right out. So well, our next step was to actually just test the water pump. And what we did was simply disconnect it really easy. We got a bucket of hot water and we just made our own little makeshift water pump scenario where we put one side of the water pump in and we put the other side of the water pump above the water and we just made sure the water pump was actually doing its job correctly. So we concluded that it was a water pipe underneath the trailer in the underbelly that was being the culprit of our problems. We knew the situation had to be from the water tank to the water pump and that's exactly what it was. So a big concern that you should know about freezing pipes is that there's only so much expansion that these plastic pieces can tolerate before they actually create little cracks or deficiencies within the pumping system. If you were ever stuck in a scenario like Renee and I were just stuck in where your pipes are frozen, we want to bring you a couple extra things that you can do to help maybe move the process along of unthawing your pipes. Put an extra heat source underneath the RV. We yeah. had a small space heater that we placed underneath. Now we didn't run this at night because we wanted to make sure we were awake and we could check on it Constant frequently. Monitoring. Remember, yes, yeah, space heaters could be dangerous if you don't have them uh, supervised. But we've also heard of people getting heat lamps yeah. and putting those underneath. So if there's yeah. a way you have access to heat lamps, you could set those, but please make sure you're not setting them underneath and then just yeah. running off for the day or going totally. to bed. We've heard some people take a blow dryer to their pipes. Totally. If you have a concern that you have isolated within the piping that you have access to, you can always take a hair dryer and slowly try to unfreeze some of that frozen water. We were very fortunate to be right next to the comfort station at totally. the state park so we actually had a place to wash dishes it was a nice heated room we had That's bathrooms yes. we didn't have access to showers so we did have to smell for like two days like i said having bottled water was great we also had a place to fill up water so yeah. if we needed to boil water to make dinner it Absolutely. was great so 
you know, we were very fortunate to have those resources close by. Totally. Guys, don't be scared to winter RV. There are totally so not. many things you could do to prepare. And if it goes wrong and you have a frozen pipe, just take it from us. Yeah. It's scary. You don't know what's going on. You wish you had water. But it'll get better. Just yes. let it warm up slowly. That's what we want you guys to take away from this. Absolutely. Guys, we also have some other footage of what happened during this scenario. Mm. So follow us on Instagram and you get to see some story highlights from that day. Uh-oh. As always, guys, thank you so much. We love you all. We'll see you next week. And we hope to see you out on the road. It's Happily Ever Hanks checking out.